Yo, yogis, three minute take on yoga. Today we're gonna to talk meditation. Now I know you've probably seen the articles of all the benefits, and we're not gonna talk about the benefits of meditation, you can Google that. We're gonna focus on how. Maybe you've sat there and tried to just be still and quiet the mind and you find yourself agitated or you find your mind way too busy to just sit. No problem, there are other methods of meditation and this other method might be right for you. One is called Japa Mantra. Japa is a Sanskrit word that means repetition. So you just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Mantra, referencing that we're using sound, audible. What to chant? Well, that's up to you. What resonates with you? You can find something from your spiritual tradition. You can find something from, you know, just pop culture. Or we can use some concepts from the yoga schools that can inspire our practice. Three simple concepts I like personally. Peace. Focus the mind on peace and just hold the mind on peace. Use the, your native language. So don't just use the Sanskrit. Sanskrit for peace would be Shanti. But use your native language, the language of your dreams. That way it really resonates with your heart. A tool to help you with your keeping count so you don't fall asleep is using something like this. This is called a mala. Different spiritual traditions use these, but we're not looking at it from that. So no conflict. We're simply looking at this like a calculator. Do you need it? No. But does it help? Yeah. How it works? Put it on your middle finger, use your thumb, feel that first bead, and just gently pull each bead towards you. This helps you stay alert, stay awake, and stay connected with your meditation so you don't go dreaming about the future or dreaming about the past. Repeat the meditation, the mantra that resonates with you. Let's say peace, peace, shanti, shanti, peace, all the way through. Another you might like, contentment. So to be content, to realize in the modern age, consumer capitalism, there's lots of temptation of the shopping, but sometimes it's good just to be content. So the Sanskrit for that would be santosha. So you just do the same thing. Use your mala. Find it in close to your heart or rest on your knee, and as you sit up tall and straight, santosha, santosha, content, content. And do your best to get all the way through. Last, my personal favorite, it's called gratitude mantra. How it works, use your fancy yoga mala and just simply go through as many as you can think of of all the good things from your whole life. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Your parents, your siblings, your favorite cat. Think of your favorite toys, iPod, iPad, whatever resonates with you. So this is repetition of sound to enhance your meditation practice.